Hi there and welcome. Today I'm doing my very first unboxing video. Normally I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, but uh, this one is special. This is the Sinclair Black Watch in kit form and uh, it's complete. So I think it's okay to do an unboxing video for a change. So uh, if we open it up, the box that is, we have a big surprise. We have all the parts for the watch. And uh, the first part we see here is the black plastic for the front. And actually, um, there's a little red window on top and the two areas here where the plastic is a little bit thinner so that uh, you can push down there and the plastic will flex a little bit. So let's try and swap it over. And there's the first problem because uh, there are just some foam pads with a metal film like, um, like the one you use for wrapping, uh, wrapping food. It's just a metal film like that. And uh, of course, this springy material here, this is really not the way to, to make a switch. So that is the first problem, really. And if we look at the back, it has a little switch down here as well. And if we flip that over again, there's a springy little thing on, uh, on foam there. So basically, when you push down the button, this uh, metal film here will short uh, some pads on the PCB. But it's really, uh, it's really a bad design. And of course, a lot of people would return the watch because of uh, because of contact problems. Next, there's a little uh, flap here, uh, cover for the batteries. Whoops! And obviously, it fits in the hole here. Then we have a plastic piece here. It's just a big square of uh, white plastic, and uh, this is um, this is some kind of a spacer that sits under the battery. Uh, and of course, we will take a look at that later. Then we have a spring here, and uh, as far as I can see, this spring will sit and, and uh, between the batteries and make contact there. And uh, there's nothing really to hold it down, so this would be jumping up again uh, when you try to, to, to swap battery. Then we have a piece of flexible PCB. And again, uh, this is some kind of sticker material on the, on the back. And uh, when we see the instructions later, we will see that this thing has to wrap around the main PCB and the little plastic spacer here and uh, there's really no space inside the box for any tolerance whatsoever I mean if you if you have a little bit of a solder that is too thick or something it will be difficult to fit it in the, in the, in the enclosure similarly the PCB here if there's some uh, some um, if it hasn't been cut to the correct size if there's a little bit of a PCB material sticking out at one side. Again, it will be difficult to fit it in the plastic enclosure. Uh, but apart from that, it's a two-layer PCB with a single chip, the ICM7202. And uh, I tried to find data sheets on this uh, on online, and the only thing I could find was a Elector magazine from 1976 that mentioned this chip here. But uh, basically, uh, this chip. Uh, can drive the LCD display that we have here, a uh, seven segment display, can drive that directly uh, and basically all it just needs is the crystal that I have here and a little capacitor trimmer that is in, the, in this little hole here. So for the electronics that's about it. Then we have a couple of little clips here for the, for the wrist strap. Uh, this is a standard type and um, basically if we lift up this one here and look inside we have the straps themselves uh, normal strap no 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 big deal um, but then we have something really weird here he has uh, Sinclair has attached or, or, or put in the box has put some lacquer a little glass bottle with lacquer and uh, one of the issues apparently that he had with this watch was that uh, the PCB would short so one of the first instructions was to lacquer the PCB. And I mean, obviously this is just, it's going to be a disaster. You're going to sit there with a little pencil, uh, with a little uh, paint brush and paint the PCB uh, before you can solder the components in. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just too, too cheap. Uh, in the bag itself, there's also a few metal uh, retainer clips, and we will t we will see that in the manual later how that uh, fits together. Uh, then there's a lot of instructions. Uh, 
says here instructions and remainder of watch parts are underneath this tray so this sticker would have been sitting on top of the the, the box itself then there's some solder and this is a uh, it's very thick solder considering that uh, what you have to solder but uh, okay not not too thick but a bit thick um, then we have a warranty card and uh, Sinclair Radionics was in uh, Huntington, Huntingdon, Huntington then. So that is uh, one of his earliest addresses. And uh, there's a survey on the back, they want to know who you are and a little bit about yourself, what kind of newspapers you were reading and uh, whatever. Uh, after that we have, well, if we get up, have the assembly instructions, we'll take a look at that in a, in a while uh, because that's quite interesting. But uh, apart from that, we have a user manual here, how to use it, different how to set the watch and stuff like that. Um, and uh, there's an errata, the batteries were, were drawn in the wrong way around, so plus and minus would be swapped. And um, yeah, if people didn't know that, they would probably fry the chip and then you have to buy another one. Uh, uh, then there's a little bit, the errata here, that says, uh, remember that the drawing for the battery is wrong. Uh, but finally here, let's go into detail with this one a little bit and see why there were so many customer complaints for, for this kit. Okay, so if we take a look at the, the, the instruction manual, it's quite, uh, quite brief. First of all, of course, there's a list of all the components and uh, I just went through that. Um, then we have an introduction warranty period of 10 days, which is not much. Um, tools required, soldering iron, wire cutter, pliers, a large paper clip. You have to uh, supply that yourself and uh, a small paintbrush because you have to uh, varnish the PCB. Um, so if you look, the first thing you have to do is to varnish the front of the PCB. And of course that is uh, so that you don't short anything. So apparently Sinclair had some problems with the paste mask, if you can call it that. Uh, some people may have uh, poked through the, 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 the mask and uh, so I guess you have to varnish it first so that you don't short anything uh, there are some components sitting on top of this PCB and uh, that must have caused an issue then um, so the first thing you have to do is to uh, varnish the PCB secondly you have to uh, solder in the little trimmer and uh, this, is a, this is a capacitive trimmer uh, and again, they say you have to be very careful to cut the pins very close to the PCB, otherwise it won't fit in the board. Next, the crystal. The crystal needs a plastic uh, insulator underneath the crystal. Uh, again, they must have had some uh, short, uh, some problems with shorts under the, under the crystal to the main PCB because of uh, lacquer and whatever. So uh, yeah, you solder that one in, then you solder in the display. The display is the standard Sinclair one, uh, the one he always uses, the little one with the magnifying glass built into the to the plastic. Uh, this one here, of course, is four digits with a decimal point. And uh, then it becomes really difficult because then you need to take this white plastic uh, piece and put uh, on top. As far as I can see, you have to put it on top. Of the of the of the soldered PCB. If I just slide this along a little bit, um, so like that, you put the plastic piece there, and then you take the the flex PCB and wrap that around. And um, after that, you have to uh, to to slightly heat it up with your soldering iron to solder the the, the flex PCB. And of course, I can imagine that people would be uh, burning a hole through this uh, material there. And uh, yeah, I forgot one. You have to insert some pins and solder on both sides. So uh, these wires that you have to solder into the main PCB, you have to be sure that there's no solder uh, sticking out. Just the pin only. So that will be the connection between the main PCB and the flex PCB. So uh, again here, if you have too much solder or anything like that, um, you will have problem fitting it into the plastic case. 
Finally, you can test it with a little uh, paper clip like this. Uh, he calls it the bulldog plate paper clip. I'm not sure if that's what people call it uh, still. But they're still available. You can buy this kind of paper clip, uh, no problem. So uh, that's it for the assembly, I think. Yeah, that's about it. There's uh, some adjustment. You can adjust a little trimmer there. But uh, otherwise, the assembly that we have here, the PCB with the plastic spacer, and the flex print on top uh, that will fit inside the, the the case and then you push in some retainer pins so uh, yeah very very fidgety way of uh, working and uh, as you can see here um, if you can see that this is actually uh, this instruction manual is actually uh, issue 2 because they must have had some problems uh, as I said the first one would be without lacquer I guess so um, Anyway, if you have any problems, you can buy a new IC for £3.50, a new display for £2.50 and a new crystal for £1.50. And uh, Sinclair would fix it, if you had made a screw up, Sinclair would fix it for £8. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it for this little video. Uh, I'm not going to assemble it, but uh, I hope you got an idea of, um, of what was involved, because uh, actually there's not much electronics, uh, not much that needs soldering, but uh, just mechanically it's a real mess. You have to play around with the varnish and, uh, and, and, and in particular those um, contacts which are really poor homemade quality. Um, I mean it's not a tag switch, I didn't expect that in a package that small, but just a piece of... Uh, but just a piece of foam with metal, with a cling wrap or whatever you call it, this metal, metal, uh, household metal foil uh, to make the contact. I mean, that is really, really poor. So, um, yeah, anyway, I remember the guy who got one uh, assembled for Christmas one year. And uh, we had to see this uh, red digits, those red digits. That was really wild because... No one has seen a digital watch before, so we kept pressing these buttons here uh, until the battery ran out and it couldn't run for, for very long before the batteries ran out. But, uh, but I mean it was really new and amazing. Imagine a digital watch when you had only the mechanical ones before. So quality wise it was junk but it was so innovative back then that it blew our minds. Unbelievable. But there you have it, uh, the Sinclair Black Watch. So thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon.